With attention spans constantly declining, your job as a content creator, editor, or motion designer is to keep your audience engaged. And holding your viewers' attention is an art. However, you can accomplish this by making your edits interesting. So I'm going to show you a handful of useful editing techniques between Premiere Pro and After Effects that you can use in your pursuit of making viral edits. Once you have your media laid out, it's time to spice it up with some sick edits. To quickly transfer your edit to Granddaddy After Effects, right click your edit and click replace with After Effects composition. In a few moments, your Premiere edit will be placed in After Effects exactly how it was edited. And the best part about this workflow is that any changes you make to your edit will automatically update in Premiere Pro. Okay, so now that you have the workflow mastered, let's first capture attention by creating beautifully designed text. Now, you can create subtitles in Premiere Pro, however, you are limited to how you can animate them. So, in After Effects, select that big text tool and type out your text. Then go to the Effects and Presets panel and type Typewriter. Drag and drop this preset onto your text layer and hit U on your keyboard to adjust the last keyframe to change the timing. So now you have the ability to sync up a subtitle to your audio. Then continue to add text in creative ways to keep people's mind on the message. If you want to dive deeper into typography, check out my top 10 title animations video in the description. The next edit that will make your content pop is placing graphics and background elements behind your subject. In this case, I'm the lab rat for the example. First, let's duplicate our footage. Then select that beautiful roto brush tool and double click your footage. Now just paint in your subjects so the green mask outlines them. And to remove unwanted selections, just hold alt on your keyboard and brush that away. Then just scrub forward in the timeline to let After Effects analyze and mask the rest of your footage. Now we can place text, graphics, and pretty much anything between me and the background. I'll even place down some effects from our VFX pack. Anyways, now that our edit is starting to keep more eyes glued on the screen, it's looking pretty good here in Premiere. One quick tip to make your edits a little more exciting is adding quick jump zooms. So I have this boring patch of footage here with nothing going on other than me rambling, probably begging you to subscribe or something. Anyway, click your footage and go to effect controls. Scrub to the part of your footage that could signal a jump zoom, add keyframes for position and scale and hit shift arrow right to move over five frames then scale inward on your footage and reposition the shot to reframe the clip perfectly and now tension spans constantly declining i think that's a great edit speaking of zooms what about adding zoom transitions to your edits you probably see these every day if you scroll down any social media platform back here in after effects i'll bring up the transform tab and add keyframes for scale and rotation we'll animate the opening of the shot to rotate and scale in then go to effect stylize motion tile increase the output width and height until the composition is filled back up with your footage click mirror edges at your own discretion now turn on motion blur and it's kind of underwhelming so go to blur and add a radial blur We'll keyframe the amount from 2 to 0. And now we have an initial zoom transition to draw people in and hopefully stop them from scrolling away from your video. Transitions are a great way to keep the edit rolling. That's why we've developed an entire 1500 transitions for Premiere Pro and over 2000 for After Effects. With your edit in Premiere Pro, all you need to do is double click the transition and it automatically imports on top of the cut of two shots. So if you want to speed up your workflow and make your edits awesome, be sure to check out these packs in the description of this video. We do have a free pack as well. However, if you do purchase anything, you'll be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. Now back to editing the old-fashioned way. A new editing technique that has popped up is 3D editing, which is great for still images or just a boring video. You can do this in Premiere Pro with the basic 3D effect. However, I still love After Effects more. So for example, I can parent any title or graphic to my footage, or maybe in your case, it's a photo. I'll make this a 3D layer, and then I'll animate the position, scale, and the rotation values to create this beautiful angled 3D edit. And because we're using After Effects, we can quickly apply the motion tile effect. And we can use this effect to remove the empty space created by our 3D edit. And this subtle edit adds that extra punch to make your work a little bit more interesting. And hopefully all these techniques do. Thanks for watching.